name is Mick, and my brother Donovan and I are the only two people in the world lucky enough to have had the lovely Janelle Marek as our grandmother. He and I knew her as Gran, Joe of course is Grandpa, and this beautiful property out here in Parker we, we call Grand Land. <laughs> I can't always say I recognized or appreciated enough growing up, uh, but spending so much time here really was an adventure of sorts, especially for my parents, who'd drop us off for weeks at a time as they toured the Caribbean. <laughs> <laughs> in all seriousness, I don't have the time to recount all of my memories of swimming in the pool, making stuff in the barn, corralling the sheep, playing dominoes. You know, we're here to honor and remember Gran, not her spoiled grandchildren. <laughs> Truth is though, this is my first eulogy, and I found it difficult to write this speech without making it about myself somewhat. Because to speak my piece on Janelle is to acknowledge that she absolutely adored me and my brother. Uh, she was very protective of, uh, of us, to be clear. I'm sure everyone that knows her remembers she's a big fan of Purell. Um, I'll, uh, I'll never forget one, one night when uh, Donovan and I and Granny and Grandpa went out to Macaroni Grill I was probably 12 or 13 at the time. I ordered the penne pasta with vodka sauce, and Graham required no less than three assurances from the waiter that the, that the dish had no alcohol in it. <laughs> but beyond that, you know, she loved to read to us, she loved to take us shopping, she, she loved to tell us stories about ourselves from when we were little. A personal favorite that she often retold to myself and others um, was probably from when I was five or six. Uh, she and I were sitting inside on the couch, uh, shoes off, of course. I glanced down at my feet, I glanced down at hers, and I asked her, Gran, are you done growing? <laughs> <laughs> yes, she told me, she was. But she wasn't done giving, nor was she done loving. One can only hope she's, that by now she's found a comfortable recliner and a book club of friends new and old up in heaven. But for those of us confined to life on earth, we would all be well served to strive to emulate her gracious, gentle spirit.